welcome back to this channel, guys. So I got a juicy one for you today. As I, let me ow, take my seat at my desk, move this little debris. I met a guy outside my local uh, we won't say what he offered me something spicy oh. he offered me some kephis of the hidden hand Don't ask why. Don't ask why. Don't don't tell. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't tell. I believe. Let me pull this out. Yeah. I know you're looking at this giant magical taco box of deliciousness. Five Kethis. In case you are wondering, there are five in there. There are five in there. So, what's in a delicious box of goodies that I was told would be spicy, huh? Core 2020, 19s. All right, and, you know, we're, we're just getting with the basic stuff here. 2019s. Oh, 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 I ruined the surprise. Couple packs of Zendikars. We got Ixalan. Rivals of Ixalan. Oh, I'm in Kep. Oh, oh, crap, I spoiled it. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't spoil it all. There's some more Ixalons. Hours of Devastations. Another Almond Cap. Ah, screw it. You already saw it. We're getting some nostalgia up in here. And I got three booster packs I will not open until the very end for you guys. So, I am going to wrap these up. And I'm going to ditch my taco box. You don't need to see no taco box. And I'm going to put them, in this case, until the very end. See? Here. Yeah. All right. What should we start with first? Should we go nostalgia? Don't ignore the price tag on them. I don't know why they're on there. Should we go sets I've never opened before? Hours of Devastation? You know what? Let's get all this. Let's go and move my Kappas. We don't we don't need him out in the field right now. You are tapped, sir! Okay. Uh, let's try uh, Hours of Devastation, shall we? Shall we? Hour of Devastation. I don't know what's good in this set. I didn't look up any of the prices, because I'm an idiot. I didn't look at anything, because I got my last shipment of stuff today. So... Let's see what we got here. We got a Sand Blast. Kindled Fury. By the way, I don't think I own any cards from Hour of Devastation. I'm just letting you know that now. Because this is one of the sets... When I stopped playing this game out... Adorn Pouncer. Eh, it's probably not worth it. Oh, wow, these cards are really bizarre to me. 
They don't feel like quality cards. I'm not going to lie about that. I don't think I got anything at worth. I can always try to look it up real fast, but no. Let's just try to roll through this because I have to be at work in under 12 hours. So, um, by the way, if I get anything juicy, I will be posting cards on TCG Player. Um, that will go towards keeping this channel alive and well because I am not monetized. Oh, what the... What kind of... Belonka Lonk stuff is this? And did I throw all the uncommons in there too? Yeah, I probably did. Oh well. I don't know what I did with the uncommons. Claim to fame. Hmm. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay. Overcome. Mirage Mirror. Okay. Kind of cool forest. Oh, wait. The, the full art forest, I think. I mean, yeah, it is a full art. It's, it's fairly nice. In case you can't tell, I don't have this camera also on a booster step. So I can kind of pan back and I can show you. It's a cool looking forest. So I'm going to try to have everything here so it kind of focuses correctly for you. Alright, so what should we do now? Ixalan, Core, Core, Amonkhet, Rivals, Zendikar. Hmm. I want to save these towards the, towards the tail end. These will be... These will be before this my super secret special stuff. Alright, so screw it. Let's go with Exelon. 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 And again, another set that I didn't play when it came out because... Well, actually, I don't have any cards from Exelon. This is kind of exciting. It's exciting to me. Leave me alone. Don't judge! Entrancing Melody, you say? I don't know. I'm actually have tempted to look up some of the values on these, just in case. Because I don't know... I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Uh, what was this set? Oh, Ixalan. Give me three seconds. As soon as my computer decides to load up. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Treasure token. Sacrifice this artifact and wed money. Oh, so it's like an Eldrazi, just in token form and not useful. Okay. Got it. Why do I do this? Yeah, um, but anyway, to be back to a little bit more of a serious note here, if you guys are interested oh, in buying some of my rare cards to keep help keep this channel afloat, go on TCG Player and look up this channel's name. Uh, Sanguine Sacrament. You gain twice X life put on the bottom of owner's library. Oh, huh, okay. Ooh. Queen's Commission. Kind of cool. Cool little foil. I set that on top of my token pile for now. Nice little forest. Oh, God, a pirate. Armity. Sorry, I had to. I had to. I hope everybody also has a good holiday. This is the going on the Sunday before Labor Day. So everybody out there watching, I hope you enjoy it. Be safe. Enjoy your friends and family and your cookouts. Ooh. Vance's Blasting Cannons.
Uh, is that even worth anything? I have no idea. I don't know anything. Oh, a checklist card. Huh. Okay. I, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Excellent. 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 Uh, Exelon? Exelon, maybe? Possibly? Yeah, screw it. I know we're at 10 minutes and I only opened, what, 3 packs? 4 packs? Don't judge me! Okay. So I have Uncommons, my Rare Pile, my Land Pile is... My Land Pile is right there. My Commons are... As you can see, stacking up. Oh, yeah, let's try to get a little bit more in focus here. Oh, come on, camera. You're going to do this to me now? There you go. Okay, what do we got? Pitless Plunderer. Blazing Hope. Swift Warden. Galta. Primal Hunger. <gasps> okay. Aggressive Urge. That's kind of a cool looking foil. Okay. Swampy. And a bizarre looking dinosaur. Yay. Okay. I'm trying to get this down, guys. I'm trying. I am trying. Okay. Let's see, red, dire fleet. Yeah, it's a blue card. War kite marauder. Interesting. I probably didn't hit any home runs, but you know that's that's okay. It's okay for now. I am hoping for a couple good home runs. Ooh, Evolving Wilds. They put that back? Huh. I had the original. When it was cool. Sky Marcher Aspirant. Famished Paladin. Silvergill Adept. Crafty Cut Purse. You slick devil, you. You are pretty slick too. Imagine that. Okay. It's a forest and a emblem. Fancy. Alright, folks. We're nearing. Uh, let's go with Almond Cat. I heard some good things about this set. Why not, right? Oh, that felt a little weird. It felt a little tacky. Something felt really tacky in there. Hmm. It's not. I hope this isn't resealed. I did buy these off. Just gotta double check, you know? Something doesn't feel right. Alright. I'm from more familiar with this set because I play uh, Magic Duels on my computer, and this is one of the sets. I apologize for the glare, too. Like I said, I am trying. Come on. Alright, whatever. 
You're not going to focus for me. Fine. We're just going to continue on without you. Focus. Who needs focus? Ooh. Scattered Groves. Uh, probably not worth anything, but it's, it's a cool land card. Wander and Death. Oh, that, this looks... Man, I still like the old school foils. Temet, Vizier of Nakaman. Hmm. Sorry if I go silent here. I'm thinking. And words cannot be processed. I know this video wasn't sponsored by that box that you saw in the beginning. I just had an extra box laying around, so I said, screw it. I'm going to use it. Put it to use. Make you guys think I met a dealer who dealt magic cards. Good card. Good card. I actually like this. I use it all the time in duels. Pull from tomorrow. Fancy. I kind of dig the art. Sucking the sand out of an hourglass. Pretty slick, guys. Didn't Anman Kent have these like really weird like Egyptian lottery cards or something? I could have sworn I heard that. Alright, to the uncommons. Wow. Okay. Sacred Thicket. So I got two rare Amon Common lands. Where's that where's that fancy dandy Egyptian card? I think that would be cool. No in my luck, it's probably like some promo or something, and I'm just being stupid. Uh, you never know. We might get lucky on this channel. I like to get lucky. Or the Broken Lands, Evolving Wilds, Charioteer, Deem Worthy, Lay Claim. <sighs> okay. Archfiend of Ifnar. Then that's my red card. That's. That's great, guys. Swamp and a token. Alright, so now that's gone. Should we go for the Battle of Zendikar? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Let's turn these sideways here. That's my uncommon pile. But don't mind if I just, you know, reach over you or around you here. Just. Ee -ee -ee. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I'll slide my lands over. It's a rare, uncommon, common new pack. We're going for it. We're going back to the battle for Zendikar. I kind of like the packs. I dig the all white looking packs. I, th I think that's kind of neat. You don't really see that too much anymore. Alright, what do we got? Resolute Blade Master. Cryptic Cruiser. Ooh, the Void. I like that ability. Oh. You didn't see that. I, I just put my own commons on top of the common pile. Downer of Hope. When Downer of Hope enters the battlefield to put Eldrazi Scion tokens into the battlefield, sacrifice. Oh, sacrifice a Scion, tap target creature. Nice. Okay. I can dig that. I can, I can dig that. Ooh, full art for Zendikar? I'll set that aside. I don't know if four lands from Zendikar are worth a lot. I'm probably having a dirt moment. 
Cool. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh, this looks a little weird to me. I'm a little paranoid off buying individual packs. I'm sorry. So uh, let's uh, should we skip to the juicies? Ooh. Devastator. I loved Eldrazi decks when I first played them. Uh, I got a foil. Nissa's Renewal. I like this card. Put three lands into play. Tap to gain seven life. That's a beautiful thing. Ooh! Adverse Conditions. Brand new minty fresh pack foil. And it looks so nice. Four land four lands. I guess four lands are a thing in Zendikar. I don't know. Uh, the last time I played anything with Eldrazi was Rise to Eldrazi. Rise of Eldrazi. So, forgive me if I like my Eldrazos a little bit. I love the Eldrazis. They're tanks. They're everything I liked in Magic. Uh, exert Influence. Very nice. Very nice. Probably not worth anything, but it's okay. Pray to the Lord. Of RNG that we get lucky. I opened that kind of goofy shit. Hopefully that works. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, I keep sliding over. I'm sorry. I'm not used to the camera being so low. Brood monitor. So, oh, I got a, I got a foil. Oh, uh, please be something delicious. Titan's Presence. Hero of Gamma Fada. 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 <gasps> Quarantine Field. Foil. Rare. Look at it glimmer. Well, you guys will see this first. Brand new pack fresh. Into a sleeve. Into the hard plastic. Bam. There you go. See it first. Hard plastic into a... Uh, ignore the fact that it's Pokemon. See? Woo! Now I'm protected. Yay! Uh, okay. Now that this video has gone on 10 minutes longer than I expected for those little packs, uh, let's blow through 2019. Yeah, but... Oh, I really... I really did a number on that card, I think. That's no, it's fine. That's fine. It's all good. It's a common. Um, I'm not too familiar with some 2019s, even though I did open some packs and I just kind of graced through it. Um, ooh, okay, not a bad, not a bad start. A mythic rare, a mythic omni science. You may cast any spells from your hand without paying your mana costs. That's a bit of a butthole move. Oh, these cards feel freaking bizarre to me. It's weird going from like the old cards to the newer sets, and just the, the, you can definitely feel there's a difference. Uh oh, there we go. Try not to ruin this pack too. Didn't it? Back to back packs, double tap on commons. Hmm. Is the first card nonetheless? Interdasting. Blood divination. Knightly Valor, Regal Blood Lord, Valiant Knight. 
Uh, I don't believe that's worth too much, but it's okay. I'm doing this for fun today. My bank account was yelling at me, saying it's not for fun, it's not for fun, stop, stop. But it was for fun. Oh, I do apologize if you hear the washer in the background going. I have to do some laundry tonight. So what do we got? Thought, oh, these cards just feel bizarre. It's just... Uh, Isolate. Oh, put it on my mythic pile. I don't want to put it on my mythic pile. Woodland stream. That's cool looking dual land. Uh, why not call it a dual land? There's specific cards that are called dual land. I don't have them. Screw it. Let's see. Oh, I think I got something juicy in here. I saw a foil on the back end. Something that looked different. Okay. Yeah, you see it? Right at the top above the mountain mana cost. It's a little shiny. All right. Ooh, you have no maximum hand size. Now that's a nice land. Seder Enchanter. Cool, cool. Knightly Valor. Transmorgifying Wand. A Sky March Bloodletter is the foil. Pretty fancy. Throw that in the land. And yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I think I've been throwing uncommons in this pile again. Thanks for reminding me, guys. It's been a long day. Leave me alone. All right, 2020 it is. Then we're going to get on to the good stuff and my surprise. I'm trying to keep you entertained. Wow, these are like, holy crap. Look how glossy these things are. These need to sit in a warehouse for about 10 years. Corpse Knight. Woodland Champion. Oh, dragons. I miss dragons. Graf Diggers Cave or Cage. Woo. Sorry. Again, long day. Oh, these cards just feel so freaking bizarre. Wizards. You need to go back to like the original quality card stocks, man. These just I, I know you just want to mass produce and pump. It's fine. I understand your business. You want to make money. I'm not criticizing you. I just, you know, I, I like the nostalgia. I love the feel of the old cards. That's why I got Fallen Empires. Crying out loud. Salvager Ruin. Gruesome Scourger. Iron Root Warlord. Lexadon Leipchanta. Fairly nice. Oh, I got a foil. I didn't mean to see it, but I saw it. Marauder's Axe. Oh, that You need to start a fire with that reflection. Holy smokes. Yeah, me reaching for the Fallen Empires. Yeah, I, I don't mind the corsets. I know a lot of people get upset with the corsets because it's just like the same cards. Reprint, reprint, reprint. I loved like 7th edition, 6th edition. I love those old sets. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. What is that, a $20 ley line? I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to show you something. Oh, God, Evolving Wilds again? How many reprints of that card on there? Uh, I don't know if I have my binder. No, my binder's in my closet. That'll be the... Fifth ley line of the void I have. I think. Fifth? Yeah, something like that. Alright. We're down to our last three five packs. 
So we'll kind of fly through these here because I want to get to these super special ones here. I got get a surprise. <gasps> Soren. M20 Soren. Oh, that's cool looking. I like Soren. I like the gothic looking art. I don't know how much that's worth, but I'm digging it. Diggity. All right. So I'm going to put my thumb over the price tag because, you know, these are pretty. And I'm also going to do something else. You give me two seconds here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to pull up Fallen Empires because I don't remember what the most valuable cards are, even though this was in my heyday. Wow, I got gypped on this. I spent almost a dollar and a half more. Wow. Okay. Anyway, these are eight card booster packs, and I don't know what the order is. And these are like papery packs, too. Oh. Talk about nostalgia. Oh my god. Um. Oh, that's. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Fallen Empires. Look at that art. Look at it. It's so bizarre, but it's awesome. Uh, I don't think I got anything worthwhile. It's cool. Cool nostalgia. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. I used to have, oh god, crab people spawning beds. I used to have so many cards from this set when I first played. Oh, armor throw. Look at that art. <laughs> That's a cool looking card. I love the color contrasts. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot. This set has variations on their cards. Because I just pulled a combat medic in the last pack too. Alright. You ready for your surprise? The creme de la creme. Just throw that off to the side. I'm sure anybody who's watched unboxing videos already knows by the color what these are. I got me some master packs. I think these ones were a little more expensive than Iconic, but we'll open Iconic first because I only have one pack of this. I decided to splurge a little bit for this YouTube video, guys. You see, my, after I open those Fallen Empire packs, it's like, this is... Bulky. Feels bulky. I'm going to set these cards off to the side, even though they're the commons. So we've got a Sandstone Oracle, Hoarding Dragon, Electrolyze. Hypersonic Dragon is my rare. Mm. And Rakdos Drake is a foil. Okay, pretty cool. We got a foil on the first pack. I'll take it. An angel token. Now,
I believe he's in this. He's worth some money. So, guys. Let's get a home run on, on one of these packs today. Because I can use the support. I can use the... Oh, God, Kindle. I used to have a bunch of the old sets of that. Ishan Shade. Oh, that's not common. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to set these aside, too. I want to keep my master sets aside. Blood Hatch Nantuko. Promised Boonery. And my rare is a Sundering Titan. Nice. I don't think it's war. Oh, hey. Uncommon foil freed from the real. From Masters 25. That actually might be worth something. I'm going to definitely set that aside. I'm going to look that price up. All right, guys. Now that I'm seven minutes past what I normally do. Usually the 30 minute mark, and now I'm just sucking up life. I feel like Liliana. Okay. Oh. oh, I'm spoiling it. I'm spoiling it. I do see it, and it's spoiled for me. Okay, we've got a regrowth. Goblin War Drums. Caustic Tar, Summoner's Pact, search your library for a green creature card, put it in your hand, shuffle your library. That's being of your next upkeep, pay for it. If you don't, you lose the game. Wow. Well, that's kind of terrible. Huh. And then a foil, Noblar, Noble Templar. From the Legion's block, I do believe, because I used to have a ton of those. Oh god, I see Morph. No. Throw it away. Alright, guys. I don't think I had any big hits on this, but, you know, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel, either directly or indirectly, you can buy the cards that I do pull. Um... I have them listed on TCG Player, like I said. Uh, look up my channel name, and you should be able to find me. As of right now, I think I only have six sales, and uh, I believe three of them are Pokemon cards. So, if you guys really want to support this channel, do me the favor. It goes to purchasing more cards down the line. So I'm really just basically doing this channel to, or selling the cards that I pull to keep the channel going. Um, I just want to make sure that everything's fantastic. And I also have my Dark Confident foil on sale. Uh, it's actually at a fairly decent price compared to the rest of the market. It's actually $10 underneath market value. Uh, this is my for sale current for sale pile. I put a run in six on there, Urza for Sliver, a couple of my lands. So if you guys really do want to support the channel, go purchase a land as of right now. It's $4.99 for shipping because I'm a level 1 seller. Until I can get more sales, my shipping is going to remain a little high. And I'm only asking for maybe a couple of them are a little over market value. But like I said, if you want to support the channel, look me up, buy a card. Uh, send me a message saying that you saw me on YouTube and I'll... I'll give you a little Mox Atog signature if you want on a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard or something. You know, keep things funky fresh. 
and now I'm 10 minutes over my alloyed time limit. So you folks have a good evening. I will see you again in the future. See you.